Hey GED students, um, we have a student Adrian from YouTube who was struggling uh, with this kind of tricky equivalent expression problem. So let's take a look. It says the expressions four times four squared times the quantity of eight times two and four to the fifth power are equivalent. Uh, remember what that word means equivalent, just a fancy word for equal. So I'm saying these two things are equal. Now that they want me to show that the two expressions are equivalent or equal. So we already know they're equal. They want me to prove it. And what, how can I do that? What you should do is start with one of the expressions and play with it, trading out one equivalent item for another until you can get the two to look identical. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to start with the longer one and try to turn it into the smaller one. Now this is the first thing I notice. I want you to see here that the thing I'm trying to turn it into, I'm trying to turn this thing over here, this expression on the left into four to the fifth power. All this is, four to the fifth power means that I have, you know, four uh, multiplying by itself five times, you know, like this. Four to the fifth power means the same as four times four times four times four times four. I mean, by definition, that's what that exponent five means. It means repeated multiplication of the base number, the number four. So basically, if I can split this guy into uh, five fours multiplying, I'll have the same as this. So let's just give it a try. Now in math, you're allowed to trade out anything that you see for something equivalent. Now this is not the only way to do this, okay, Adrian? Because there's many different ways you can go as long as you get to the same place. But this is what I'm gonna do. This is already a four, so good for me. Okay, now this one. 4 squared, what does that mean? That means 2 4s multiplying. So I can trade out this part of the expression for the numbers up 4 times 4. And notice, that was in parentheses, meaning that thing is multiplying. Okay, so now I'm up to 3 4s, but now I have a problem. This doesn't have anything to do with 4s. It says right now 8 times 2, and students go, what in the world? Well, notice it's in parentheses. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that multiplication. Again, not the only way to do this, okay? But I'm gonna do it. Uh, eight times two is 16. So you can see this four is right here. These two fours are right here, one, two. And this times eight times two is the same as times 16. And so my expression ex is exactly equivalent to the one before, which is what I wanted. Now let's keep going. Remember, I was trying to turn this into a bunch of fours multiplying. So that's four times four times four. Now this says times 16. Well, I know that one way to make 16 is by multiplying four times four. And look at what I got, exactly what I wanted. There they are, one, two, three, four, five fours multiplying, or the base four raised to the fifth power. I have now proven that these two things are the same. Now, Adrian, you might be mad at me. You might have said my teacher went a different way. Once again, there is not one right way to do this. All you're trying to do is to get the one expression to look like the other. And any time two things are equivalent in math, you're allowed to trade out the one for the other. So I just kept trading until it looked the way I wanted it to. All right, I hope this makes sense. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.